What's up guys and welcome to Crashlands. This game is actually really cool. I enjoy it a lot, the little bit of I've played of it. It's coming out on January 21st. I'll put a stuff on the video if it's wrong, I'll correct myself. But I would say this game is a combination between Don't Starve and then also, uh, I guess sort of a little bit of Borderlands. It's really cool. Really nice, and if you enjoyed the first episode, make sure you give this video a like so that I know to post more as soon as possible. But without any more delay, let's enjoy some Crashlands. So this looks like it's our ship here, and we're delivering something. Okay, so, so we're intergalactic delivery men. Good. So that's our contract, is to make three deliveries. And then I said, hey, that's not a USB port. So this is a juice box. I, I guess we're the little, little purple guy, I think. Alrighty then, <laughs> USB port, my sides. Uh, hey, did I hear laughing? You've got packages to deliver. Laughter impedes productivity. <laughs> no sir, Flux was choking. Uh, that sounded like a tittern. Uh, nope, she's totally choking, so I guess our main character here is a she, okay. Um, we'll see who's choking when I cut 5% of your pension. Oh wow, okay. Was there something you needed, sir? I needed a status report on your package delivery. Two weeks until we arrive. Everything is on schedule. Wow, that's a long trip. Good, and remember, these packages can't have a scratch on them, which means everything bad is going to happen, guaranteed. This isn't our first rodeo, sir. <laughs> Something just popped our warp bubble. We've stopped moving, engines must be dead. Oh no, that shouldn't even be possible. Let's get the engines restarted. Slap that control panel to your left. Okay then, Uh. Boom, <laughs> there you go. That didn't do anything. Did you make sure it's plugged in? Um, oh gosh, well hello there space travelers. Welcome to planet Wawanope. Uh, Hugo Duco? <laughs> Who's this guy? Uh, oh gosh, what are you? I'm Hugo Duco. You can call me Hugo Duco because as I said, my name is Hugo Duco. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Sorry to pull your little space truck out of space warp like that, but I needed a quick space, space favor. <laughs> I can just imagine like a thick echo happening whenever he talks. <laughs> we're only a pretty tight, we're on a pretty tight schedule, floaty head guy. Um, <clears throat> I'm working on a little science project, but I need a quantum electro dongle. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Uh, we do, but it's part of the ship. Removing it would cause the ship to explode. So exploding the ship would cause the electro dongle to be removed? That logic checks out. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, great! Uh oh. What's happening? Um, uh, what are you doing, Hugo Duco? Don't do that, we're inside of that ship. Uh-oh, this thing's exploding now. <laughs> what a jerk! He could've just asked nicely, maybe we could've made a deal, but no, remind me to replace your judge of character chip. No time for finger pointing. <laughs> we'll re revisit this later, to the escape pod. First things first, save the packages, your pension won't be worth anything without them. Hmm. What are the package? I'm guessing it's a little smiley face. Look, grab that one. One down, two to go. Let me just open these doors here. Beep, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> All right then, those electric shocks look deadly. Be careful. Uh, Electric shocks, oh, these things, okay. Um, We gotta be careful, because we gotta go down. There's no other way to go. Um, Oh jeez, I'm nervous, no. Keep running, keep running, oh no! <laughs> oh jeez, this ship is exploding. One left, head back down to the upper room and grab something, something. Oh, he's holding it. Thank you, juice box. You're a helpful little guy, aren't you? You're already way better than Claptrap. <laughs> so that's something. Um, hmm, what is this? Uh, it is a wrench. Okay, start hitting these guys. Good, good, good. Um, uh, hmm, might wanna wait here and then take this out. Yes, good. <laughs> Done, now let's get back to the escape pod. Okay then, uh, before the ship explodes. What is this little guy? Hi, oh, I, I stepped on him. I'm sorry. Okay, that almost hit me there. Uh, there are space duck pies in the side rooms. Oh my, Flux, we don't have time for that. Uh, sh okay, there is always time for pies. Space duck pies can heal my wounds and they're delicious. <laughs> then let's talk of feelings and more grabbing of pies. We gotta go. <laughs> okay, let's uh, hit this and then there you go. Pick up these duck pies. <laughs> why, like, why are they blue? <laughs> That's just weird. Come on, come on, get all those and then Let's move it, move it. No, we gotta go this way. All right, come on, hit this. Keep going, keep going. We're almost at the escape pod. I need you to hold my wrench, juice box. We'll be coming in hot. All right, juice box, we gotta get out of here. Go, 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 ready? Yes, okay, we made it. And we're getting out of this ship before it explodes. Oh boy, oh man, there it goes. This is a cool looking planet though. Hmm, 
but here we fall. Will we be able to make it to the ground okay? There's only one way to find out. Oh no, ah! And here we are, are we okay? Oh, okay we are. What a majestic landing, Flux. <laughs> there you go, I think I used up a kidney on the dismount. Well you, well you still got one left, let's finish this delivering. What about the alien maniac who just blew up the ship? We just need to contact the Bureau of Shipping so they can send a space rescue space truck before he shows up again. So we'll need to build an advanced comm device. Uh, with sticks and flowers, I guess we should get a base of operations started. This will take some doing. I'll deploy the survival station just south of the escape pod. Why don't you make some floors out of the sawgrass? Um, guessing this stuff over here. Uh, throw some blades into the survival station to build them. Ah, okay, new story, crafting context. So what I like about this game a lot, that I don't really like about Don't Starve is that it doesn't have this, it has like a main story and has quests that guide you from point A to B to help you learn the game. I like that a lot in games, direction and satisfaction of completing it, I like that a lot and this game has it. So, so far this sort of has a leg up on Don't Starve to me, but I mean, maybe I shouldn't compare them. <laughs> All right, then let's get some of the sawgrass blades so that we can hopefully uh, make some flooring, okay. Hmm, get this, I love the music too. Whoa, what are these things? A wampet. Um, I don't have anything. And seeing how they sort of have like the face of a hippopotamus and hippopotamuses usually aren't too, you know, not fun to mess with. Whoa, okay, yeah, okay, that's what I was gonna say. I don't wanna mess with them, but they, you know, they're starting to mess with me. This is crazy. Um, hmm, is that enough? How many do we need? Okay, this is the thatched saw floor. Oh, so we can track it, do we have enough then? We do, okay, so let's start building this. Let's put this here and build. And that's building. Uh, Cool, poke to revive or retrieve finished items. Nice stuff. Uh, Now use build mode to put these down. I is it the hammer icon in the bottom left or the of the visor surface? I swear they change the UI with every update. <laughs> yeah, just open that up and put down some flooring. Okay, cool. Um, hmm, so the hammer. And then I can just put some stuff down. So I can't put it over, you know, certain things. It looks like that's okay. <laughs> that's all I could do. I now have awkward flooring. That's okay. We'll make it work. Nice. Hey, I see some tree-like things out in the distance. You could cut the, these down for wood. Let me use my anal an an analysis engine to design a good tool. Yeah. <laughs> Your visor tracks the metals you need in the upper right corner. Now get to building this thing. Okay, booyah, time to make that locally sourced saw. Hmm, so this is, oh, okay, so this is sort of like a little quest right now. Schematic discovered. Okay, so we need to make this saw on the top right, and we do that by picking up sticks and getting more of these buzzsaw bushes. So that'll be great, because we're gonna go near that guy in a moment if we don't run, find any more sticks, because he's standing next to the last stick we need. All right, not the wampa, not the wampa. Oh, he's gonna go for me? No, he's not. Whoa, there he goes, run, run, get this, get this. Uh. Luckily, it sort of like picks everything up for you once you do that. Like once you break it, which is good. Leave me alone, you big jerk. Jeez, I don't want any of you and you're just chasing me around. Uh, Come on, a little bit more. Is that all? No, I still need two more. Two more of the grass. There's Okay, there's all of them. We're getting out of here. Leave me alone. <laughs> this is such a cool game though. I like this a lot. Um, hmm. So now we can go here and build this. Awesome. Um, and now we can grab that, and whoa, we get the new tool, tool integrated. <laughs> that is awesome. Check out my saw, it's awesome. Hey, wait a second, where did it go? Uh, where, whenever you need it, your suit will teleport it right into your hand. <laughs> Guess I was drooling, or doodling during that meeting. Neat! Why don't you doodle a sawmill into existence then? We'll need better si cita or stations to get a proper com device built anyways. Uh, ah yes, a sawmill will let us harness the power of wood. <laughs> would it though? Would it? I love how they just shoved the pun in your face. Yes, it would. <laughs> how can I tell if I have enough of the parts for it when I'm out exploring? Slap the enormous track button next to build when you're inside the survival station. That'll put some put the components onto your HUD, which we already know, okay. So it's like a grocery list burned into my eyes. I'll do that before heading out. Okay, so let's pick up this, and this is uh, schematic discovered sawmill. So that's gonna be helpful, I'm sure of it. So I guess we can make, it's probably like an advancing, advanced craft station of some sort, so uh, track that. So we need wood now. 
I don't know where we're gonna find them. Maybe we should look around. Hmm, okay. All right, ah, here we go. Here's, here's, oh gosh. More of these rhino hippo jumpers though. They're just like hippos with legs for bodies. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> just gonna ignore that it's there. We gotta get 13 of these guys, so hopefully these guys are nice and don't get all hostile on me. They get, they are. Whoa, what is this? Uh, it's glowy. I must touch it. Whoa, whoa, I'm flying. The power of flight for two minutes. Okay, cool. I wish it was longer for two than two minutes, but that's really awesome. Whoa, I'm just flying around, look at me. <laughs> Try to catch me now, you jerks. <laughs> it can't, ooh, there's another one. I don't know if I should get these and maybe I'm wasting their potential. I don't know. Uh, First, let's get all this. And I love how our little buddy juice box just follows us around here. Um, What is this? Uh, Regenerating health, okay. Will this do the same thing? Regen I've never seen these before. Uh, Interesting. Uh, Okay, get this. All right, so we basically have all the wood we need, we just need more grass. So we gotta be careful though. I'm flying around, it's, it's just fun to fly around. So we can see how long we're flying up here in the top left, I guess. That's gonna be a bit of helpful information. All right, so I think we're actually starting to get a little too far out here, but we're almost done with all this. We almost have it all. <laughs> These guys keep on trying to kill me though. Stop it. I don't need to be killed today. Got enough going on. I've gone close enough to death as it is. What is this stuff? Wow, okay, I feel like I'm going a little over my head here. <laughs> Let's just get this. And then I believe, it looks like you've got everything you need, but your harvesting trips are starting to get stray pretty far from the ship. Yeah, I'm getting tired of walking back all the time to build stuff. You forgot about the ship teleporter, didn't you? You can teleport to the ship from the map. Give it a go, I'll teleport with you. Teleportation buddies. <laughs> all right, so if we press uh, the map here, um, updating map, ah, all right then. We can click here and we can just teleport back. That is awesome, I love that a lot. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, hmm. Then let us uh, move around. I, we can't move around with the keyboard for whatever reason, but I guess it's not too big of a deal. So let's build this. Um, hmm. So we just go in here and build. And then we can take that. Uh, take this and station assembled. <laughs> that is awesome. So there you go. And now we can make a bunch more stuff with that. So that's gonna be super helpful. Why don't we, uh, whoa, whoa, so many things to build, time to rub up the old sawhorse. All right, where did it go? It's in your suit. Use build mode and hit the infinity symbol to access all the structures you've got stored in there. Then go, you can go and select the sawmill and put it ever, put it wherever you, there's some sturdy flooring. Okay, we got some right here then. Um, hmm. Then we press that, and then this, and then here, so I can also plant stuff, right? No, uh, can only be placed in fertile dirt. Here? No, I don't know how you make fertile dirt, we'll have to find it out sometime soon. Uh, blam blam, or blah blam. <laughs> hey, juice box, I feel like we're being watched. Do you think Hugo Duco is out there? Undoubtedly, but he probably thinks we exploded. Which should buy us some prep time. I'd feel better with some armor, but both for dealing with Hugo and those stomping beasts. Why don't you start with a wooden chest plate? Protect that one kidney of yours. <laughs> oh, and keep your eyes peeled for sentient life. According to Buropedia, the Tendrum, half goat, half plant creatures live here. Huh, we haven't seen those. Well, maybe we did off to the left. Okay, then we get a schematic discovered. We need to do this one with the sawmill, then we do. It's right here. It's already tracked, so we just need to find more wood. So let's go ahead and start doing that. It's getting hard to see out here. Well, yeah, it's this thing called darkness. I'm going to need some light so I don't fall into a horrible alien-filled pit. <laughs> Let me see, boop, 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 scanning for ship debris. Ho, ho, one of the lamps from the ship landed somewhere nearby. I marked its probable area. It's in on your map so you can find it. Hit the map icon on the bottom left corner of your visor to see where the light source is and lug that meaty body of yours over to it. All right then, so where is it? The light source is around here? Huh, that's odd, so we just sort of have to look for it. Our flying is almost done here, so if we can't just, you know, use that to our advantage, you're like, where could it be? That It's just anywhere around, we just gotta sort of scatter around for it? Is it these little guys? Hey there. Um, I don't think so. Like, I think it might be like an actual, oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, then, it uh, looks like it's on that little island. I can't swim, luckily we can fly. Uh, build some floors and make a bridge. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna. There you go, I'm gonna do that. This thing is bright, what if I want to, 
whip my saw out and chop down more log trees. Your torch goes into a special slot in your soup. It'll equip whenever it gets dark, so you don't need to worry about scary nighttime. Best nightlight ever. So this is like a game full of convenience, and now I'm stuck. Oh, I don't care, because I can just teleport back. <laughs> That's awesome. See, convenience. And with that being said, I think we'll be finished for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Crashlands. I'm liking this game a lot, and I think I'll be playing it quite a bit here. So if you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving this video a like, share with your friends and family, and of course, commenting in the comment section below. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Crashed Zebra, so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!